Welcome back to Half Ass Off Grid. Uh, today we're going to unbox and install this new light we received from Langy. Langy? Langy? Uh, it is their 200 watt, 20,000 lumen street light. Um, we're going to use it for this area and kind of just, it's a, from what I understand, it is a motion light. So it will come on. We can either have it a dim setting and it will detect motion and get brighter or we can have it off and then come on when um, it detects motion so let's check it out all right let's open this box Right, safety first. Wow. All right, here is the hardware set. Bolt it on. Here's the bracket to go around. I don't know that we're going to be able to get this around the tree. We may have to, might have to figure something it. a little different. Might have to screw it in directly. Just go directly into the tree. Yeah. Um, and then here she is. It's like a full-on street light. Yeah, it's pretty big. So there we go. There's the solar panel. And then the lights. Has an on-off switch. More hardware. Alright, that's what's in the box. Well, let's figure out how to get it up in the air, huh? Yep. Sounds good to me. All right, what we're going to do, so I'm going to screw this thing directly to the tree. You can say that's the whole point of having a tree. And we're going to try and get it up there. The directions say between 13 and 16 feet high. We figure the bottom of the ladder is about 13 or so. And if you look down this way, you can see where our chain hoist is. That's where we bring up... Uh, where we string up animals after we harvest them and bring it back here. So we're hoping that we can get the light high enough that it will shine all the way from there down to here. Uh, I looked up online and 20,000 lumens, if applied properly, should basically light up 100 by 100 feet. I think it's feet. Could be meters. It should be good and bright. <laughs> So hopefully this all works. We'll get this charged up and check it out tonight. Guess what? That's the wrong size socket. <sighs> Shoot. So I'll get these other screws. We have to use kind of an eclectic mix because we're at the cabin. I'm not driving all the way to town for two screws. So we kind of made a special screw. One of these uh, little lag screws that we've used in various spots around the cabin. 
See if I can do this without dropping and cussing on camera. <sighs> That like level ish? Yeah. Looks pretty sturdy. All right, I'll crawl down here unless you can, do you think you could throw me that half inch? Where was it? In the socket set that you got out from the truck. Let's go over here. Ready? Sure. As I'll ever be. Oh! 30 years of working around construction does benefit every once in a while. I'd Worked say it was a great football player when I was a child. Or it was just that I have a really good arm. Even if it wasn't directly at you. <laughs> at least I didn't flail around and fall off the ladder. Uh, that's a that would have made for probably better uh, YouTube. Oh videos. yeah, heck yeah, that would have made a great video. Here's how my husband ended up in a body cast. Well, it looks like we're shaking the whole tree, so. All right. Come down and grab the ladder. And grab the, the ladder. The ladder, Come the down light. The ladder and grab the light. You want me to? Hand it to you? Well, I gotta grab the right socket to suck that down. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. And that one is 916, so right? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the... No, it wasn't. Where'd it go? You need a holster. <laughs> All right, here we go. Best of luck. I love that uh, rope in the middle. It just makes it so easy. Yeah. Just watch what the top of the ladder's doing. Do you want me to hold the end of the bottom of the ladder? Yeah, it should be in there pretty good. Okay. I hate ladders. I don't like watching people climb them. I don't like standing on them. My legs freeze up when I get too high up on them. That's why I couldn't go to the top of the cabin. My legs wouldn't let me. Luckily, oh, you're going to have to loosen those. There you go. Tighten those down up on top. Hold it on there tight. Probably could have done that with just the ratchet instead of the... Probably. <laughs> so I guess now we wait and let it charge. That's right. Put all of our toys away and see what the evening brings. Looking forward to it. Just wanted to say that was super easy to do. That was two lag screws and two other screws that are kind of like lag screws to get that up there. 
And then the top just takes a 916 socket, just wiggle it on there and tighten it down. And yeah, it's sturdy as can be. I mean, you talk about simple, pretty easy. For sure. So easy in Idaho and can do it. Hey, hey, hey. Don't sell yourself short. Let's just say I've done a lot more complex things than that up here at the cabin. All right, so the light has several different modes and it has a remote for those modes. It's got that 3H button. Well, of course, this is the power on, power off, but then there's the 3H mode, which it'll be on for three hours and turn off. Then there's the 6H. It'll be on for six hours and turn off. The auto is that it will stay on all night. The one, two, three is how you adjust the brightness. Uh, 25, 50, and 100%. The next button is that zero to 100%. And that'll make it so that it is in the motion detection mode. So it'll go from 30%, which is you know, just 30% brightness and then come on to 100% brightness when it detects motion. And then the next button down is the 0% to 100% and that's, it's just off and then when it detects motion, it will come on to 100%. The last button I think is probably one of the coolest settings is you can, um, it'll be on for four hours and then it'll go into that um, first motion detecting mode, which is the uh, zero off and then come on at 100% when it detects motion. So um, really looking forward to giving it a shot tonight after uh, it gets dark and it comes on. So we'll talk more then. All right, here we are a couple weeks later. That Langy light has had plenty of time to charge um, over several days. So I'm gonna move forward where it's pretty dark right now. You can see that glow in the sky, um, but that's, it's actually quite a bit darker. My phone's just grabbing some of that extra light. So I'm gonna move forward and have this bad boy turn on. As you can see, it lit up our whole yard here at the cabin. Um, typically we process our meat down where that bucket is hanging in the tree. That's where our hoist is. You can see all around our yard and it really lights it up. So um, really, really going to be happy with this light. It's going to be a great asset here at the cabin.